If you are getting a liquidity pool, this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to create an open book market ID much more cheaper than any other option in the market that you usually know, like Radium, Orca, etc. Before starting with the process, the reason why we need an open book market ID in Solana for creating a liquidity pool is basic. Basically, we need to create a token pair, a market where we can trade those tokens when we add the liquidity. The reason why a market could be really expensive, up to three sol, is because of the space we occupy in the blockchain, okay? We storage or market in the blockchain in order to be able to process this transaction. The point here is that we can modify the length of our market, for open mock market, and make it much more cheaper. In this case, I'm going to show you how to do it from 0.4 Solana. For sure, spending three sol on creating a market is kind of expensive and we are going to save money. But first, we need to understand which problems we can generate when using this cheap option. Okay, in this case, um, the reason why we may have any problem is because we make the storage much more smaller, so it's cheaper, but we can also process less transaction per second or per minute. Okay, under my experience, uh, not because I launched tokens, because some people who launched tokens told me they have created markets for 0.4 Solana, as I'm going to show you, with tokens up to 500,000 market cap, and they didn't have any problem. Okay? In this case, my recommendation is if you are creating a serious project, a long term project, please spend the 3 Sol, uh, 2.8 Sol, to create the optimized version. This is based on the recommendation of the protocol. But if you are launching meme coins, if you don't mind at all about it, uh, you can perfectly go with the cheaper option. I'm going to show you three options, okay? The cheaper one, 0.4 Solana, a medium one, 1 1.5 Solana, and uh, the optimal one, which is 2.8 Solana, okay? Take on account that after creating the market, you will be able to list to create your liquidity pool in any DEX, okay? Radium, Orca, Meteora, Phoenix, or any other. Also, important here is that if you want to go with the cheap option, I would recommend you to use a bigger, a higher mean order size that you may expect, okay? I'm going to show you which numbers you can use for the mean order size, tick size, etc. So let's start directly with the process of creating our market ID. So for creating our open book market, we are going to use Smithy Tools. Okay, Smithy Tools is a tool suite where we can create, manage NFTs and tokens with AC within Solana ecosystem. So in this case, we are going to use this tool you're seeing here. You will have the link in the description for sure. And basically, it's a, a UI that we can use uh, to create uh, our market ID with the custom inputs we want. Okay, so first of all, let me introduce you the different inputs we need to use. Uh, we have the base token. Base token is the token we created, okay? Here you have a tutorial on how to create a token if you don't have it yet. So it's basically the token that doesn't have a value on the market yet. We also have the quote token. Quote token is basically a token with a value in the market. Usually it's Solana, USDC or USDT, okay? I will recommend you to use Solana, but it's also really common to create USDC. You can create different market IDs for your token and you can have different liquidity pools for your token. But in this case, uh, we are going to create just one because it's uh, a tutorial. We also have the mean order size, which is the minimum quantity that a person can buy when trading our token, and the tick size. The tick size is the minimum quantity that the price can change of our token. To finish the presentation of the tool, we have advanced options. Advanced options are those options that will allow us to modify the open book market length and make it cheaper, okay? We have three different ones. I'm going to show you which inputs we need to use in order to create the different options, okay? In here we have, I will add this in the description, okay? So uh, here we have the three options I told you. So how we create the open book market? Basically we start selecting the base token, okay? I'm going to use a random one. We set the quote token, as I was saying, for me, the most common is Solana, and I recommend it. We continue with the main order size, okay? I'm going to put in here a table with the rates we can follow, okay? For the main order size and the tick size, let's say that we have a standard token, okay, of 100 million supply, for example. I would say that these rates are okay, okay? One main order size and 0.000001 
uh, for the tick size, which is uh, five decimals. Okay, so um, then we have the advanced options. Uh, we have these three options, which are kind of standard. Okay, the 0 0.4, 1.5, and 2.8. If we don't set the advanced options, um, we will be using a standard one, uh, optimal one, which is 2.8 Solana. Okay, in this case, I just added the options for 0.4 Solana, okay? Now, when we finish all this, we can just click on Create Market. Uh, it will load a bit and will show us the transaction. As you can see in here, we have a transaction of 0.4275 Solana, okay? Much cheaper than as usual. So we click on Confirm and we have Success, Market Created. Okay, so now that we have the Market ID, Remember to copy it and keep it safe, okay? Paste it in a document, in notes, in a conversation, so you can keep it and avoid to lose it. And <clears throat> now with this market ID, we can go directly to any DEX and create the liquidity pool, okay? Just a reminder, you need to revoke the freeze authority of your token before creating the liquidity pool, okay? So you have a tool for doing that on Smithy2, the cost is 0.1 sol. You just need to select the token and click on revoke freeze. You will have the link in the description. Also, if you don't know how to make the process of creating a liquidity pool, here you have a video on how to do it. But anyways, for today, that's all. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.